Well, members of the Bahamas Agricultural and Industrial Corporation are on Grand Bahama for a two-day tour. The team led by the executive chairman is hoping the trip can help to spur further development into the island's small business sector. Here's Sabrina Brown with this report. The executive chairman for BAIC, Arnold Forbes, partnering with the Minister for Grand Bahama to explore ways to jumpstart the island's economy through agribusiness, light manufacturing and light industry. We are here to give him our support and show him our support and to inform him that BAIC is available to him to use our resources, our technical expertise to ensure that Grand Bahama maximizes it, its potential. We know that Grand Bahama has great potential as it pertains to agribusiness and light industry. As a matter of fact, Grand Bahama at one time was the um, uh, industry leader as far as um, industry is concerned um, throughout the Bahamas. The chairman is accompanied by a team of agricultural experts and consultants who will conduct an assessment of the island. We will visit a few of the farms that are in existence in Grand Bahama to see how they are operating, how we can make them better, and how we can create more opportunities as far as farming is concerned in Grand Bahama. We, will, we also um, have a craft center out, out here in Grand Bahama, and we want to um, uh, get that up and running. Forbes believes there is great potential for further development of the handicraft sector on Grand Bahama, as the Bahamas imports over $250 million worth of these products annually. Why aren't we making um, some of those handicrafts in the Bahamas? Why aren't we putting our people to work? Why are we allowing that hard currency to leave the country when we can do other things with that to enhance our economy and enhance our people? Minister for Grand Bahama Dr. Michael Darvel is adamant that the future of this island lies in entrepreneurial development. We will be vigorously tapping into the technical expertise in his group to ensure that agriculture as well as light manufacturing, low energy intensive light manufacturing are developed in very short order in Grand Bahama. According to Minister Darville, education is a key component in building the agriculture and manufacturing industries. The Ministry of Grand Bahama, in conjunction with the Ministry of Agriculture, is designing a cadet agricultural program that is geared for students at the at levels 11 to 12, grades 12, uh, that will begin to uh, encourage them into the field of agriculture and begin to uh, focus more on light manufacturing. Sabrina Brown, ZNS News.